Okay, so what is this about? Um, well, basically I'm working on my bachelor thesis called Design and Realization of an Experimental Optical Stop Motion Capture System. Fancy title, I know. <laughs> uh, just kidding. And well, I'm essentially done designing and realizing it and, well, have been working on writing the actual thesis today and I'm pretty sick of it because I did it all day so I thought let's do something fun now and make a little video describing how this system actually works. So what we have here is a live stream of a webcam showing this little puppet that I put into this soccer-like pose and our goal is basically to reconstruct the three-dimensional pose of this puppet onto a skeleton that can then be used for computer animation purposes, for example. And well, down here we've got a scale, so we can turn this into exactly this position, which would be in zero degrees. And what we're going to do now is turn off the lights and take a little picture. Bam! Magic, also known as image processing. As you can see, all the markers have been automatically um, located as well as identified. Um, they've been locating, located using, um, well, um, it's called a half transform algorithm, which you probably don't care about, but I'll tell you anyway. And obviously they've been identified by their color, which was also re the reason why I turned off the light. Um, there are LED lights attached on the webcam and those need to be the only source of light because other light sources would obviously ruin the color effect and thus make it impossible to um, identify the markers by their color. So that worked. <coughs> uh, obviously we'll need more than one picture to reconstruct the positions of those markers, which is our first goal. So we're going to turn this to 30 degrees. And guess what? We're going to make take another picture. Lights off, 30 degrees, and cheese. Let's just quickly check this. Looks about right. Okay. So now that we've taken two pictures, we are essentially able to recalculate the positions of those markers that have been identified on both pictures. So we're going to press calculate 3D positions. And as you can see, we still need more data for those four markers right here. So we're going to take another picture. Let's just turn this to 60 degrees. Bam. Lights off. And take a picture. Let's just quickly check. Looks about right. OK. So we'll update our 3D positions two more markers missing. By the way, the only way we can actually do this um, obviously requires the webcam to be perfectly calibrated, which is quite a pain in the you know what, because you need to determine a lot of parameters which requires a lot of fancy math. But obviously it worked out. <laughs> so, okay, to make this a little faster we're gonna turn our puppet into the counter direction so that the markers that have been blocked on either picture yet will hopefully be on the picture. So this is 330 degrees. And we'll take another picture. Bam. Arm, arm, arm. Arm, arm, arm. Toto, torso, head, head, leg, leg, leg. Seems about right. So we'll update our positions. And bam! We've got enough data to recalculate the positions of all their markers. So keep in mind their actual goal is to reconstruct the skeleton or the pose of the figure by creating the skeleton. But what we're first going to do is look at this view which will show us the 3D markers in space. can turn this around. And this view lets you easily see whether there have been some false data somewhere because that would cause one of the markers to be totally out of line. But apparently this seems to be alright. 
So, what we want to have now is basically the orientation of each of those bones. And when I say bones, I don't mean, uh, well, bone in a biological way. I'm not good at biolo biology anyway, so <laughs> for our cause, the upper arm is a bone, the lower arm is a bone, the upper leg, the lower leg, the torso and the head. And, well, a skeleton in computer animation is by the basically a hierarchy of those bones. Um, and to reconstruct the hierarchy, we need to know the orientation of each of those bones. But uh, luckily, the way I attach them on the marker, we have two markers for every bone. And we know the position of those markers, so with a little vector math, which essentially means that we need to subtract this marker, for example, from this marker, we will get a vector that will point into exactly the same position as the leg does. And with quite some more math and this knowledge, we can reconstruct our skeleton, which we can see here. And we can turn it around, and it looks about right. So yeah, that's essentially it. Thank you very much, and gute Nacht, I guess.